All right, day one is over with. I am once again here in Des Moines, Iowa, taking the Niagara Four certification training class. And uh, day one's in the books. And like most trainings, it starts out with some introductions, uh, both of the trainer as well as the other students in the class. And uh, it's pretty much what the morning was taken care of. Um, there are 13 students in my class, as well as t uh, the trainer, Kevin Amoroso from Distec Controls. Um, there's also two other uh, people in the class getting the certification. However, they are uh, staff and, and uh, working with this tech controls, and they're actually in the training department. So one is a trainer, um, as well as the uh, manager uh, for this tech controls for support, I believe. Uh, but he also covers the training at this tech controls. They kind of lump uh, training and support together, which is always a good thing. Uh, that way, they're kind of in sync with uh, what they're giving out to customers and technicians, um, as well as what they're going to be hearing on the phones uh, when they're calling back. So that's a good thing. Um, of the 13 students, I'm one of those. Uh, there's about three of those that are seem to be pretty new to controls, whether it be new to Niagara, they raise their hand, or it may actually be they're new to controls. Um, so there's three people like that, and I do get a feeling that most of the other guys, especially the Woodman guys who are based out of here in Iowa, um, are definitely experienced in controls, have been using Niagara, and they're probably coming here mainly for the certification. Uh, and and I think I had some uh, comments on the YouTube. We were going back and forth talking about how a lot of times the certifications are more to get the certifications, whether on a personal level or on a company-wide level. And I think that's the case with Niagara. That's, I'm kind of biased that way, thinking that it's really just a, a kind of like a piece of paper on the wall kind of thing. Um, day one, there wasn't too much going on, so I want to also talk about the pre-training. Um, day one, like I said, introductions. The next part kind of focused, I think, a little too much on the uh, GFX, which is Distech Control's uh, separate software that actually does the block programming in the Distech Controllers. Now, I think that's mainly because it, the programming that we did leads into what we're going to be using in Niagara and setting up the controllers, so it was kind of necessary, and I'm sure they do the same kind of training, you know, in other manufacturers to get those uh, controllers programmed, whether it be in the Niagara framework or outside in their own uh, set of software tools on the side. So we did a few hours of setting that up and rounded out the day at the end, uh, setting up the station uh, using the new template feature as we're using Niagara 4.6, uh, which was recently accepted by Distech as the latest version that they're supporting, even though I think 4.7 is out now. So we're using 4.6 in the class and they have a nice uh, station templating tool that we uh, clicked on, set up, and are using that to build the station with. Uh, Pre-training. Pre-training I think is important um, to mention because honestly I wish I would have been able to go through that pre-training on like maybe within I'd say a month or two of actually being hired and maybe you know using the software and so forth. So if you're a, a small business, you've hired on some people that maybe don't have Niagara training already uh, or experience with it, I would recommend uh, let them work with your other guys for a month or two, kind of get used to things, and then put them through the pre-training. And it was based through Niagara community. So it's not, I don't believe is open to the public, but if you are already working with Niagara, you should have access to that for your guys. I would highly recommend to set, set them up. Um, I actually went through the AX uh, getting introduction, getting to know the JS8000 kind of training, but it definitely helped. And I definitely recommend that for new guys that don't have Niagara experience. Even myself, I would have appreciated going through that training when I first got hired because it kind of helped me where to click and how things are connected together. Very important, even with a, a good background, because you kind of want to have a frame of mind of uh, where to uh, go to get the certain kind of information or how to connect this information with that information. So definitely recommend that, getting to know the JS8000 and introduction to Niagara, uh, even if it's the AX one. So, And I believe that's free. You just got to have it signed up on Niagara uh, University. Um, Back to the actual training, I think day one was really simple. Someone who's experienced in controls, especially if they've already been working with Niagara, even myself, I think it's been almost a little over six months now, uh, working with it, a breeze. You're going to be going ahead of the worksheet. You're going to be getting things done ahead of everybody else, uh, ahead of the trainer and so forth. And that's fine. I didn't expect too much on day one. So here's day two. We're going into it and I will update you later. Don't forget to subscribe on uh, YouTube, my channel. Uh, just type in uh, YouTube and search for The Controls Free. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.